Miravina says, you cruise the strip, Roger. Cruising the strip in my day was something completely different. Okay. All right. Hey. Okay. Okay. Me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, all, I, all right. I, no, said, I really it. said nothing, but everyone just suddenly had a different interpretation of what I said. Tom's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you back then. I, can I just saw didn't. how pleased with himself Roger was. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you wish, okay. Roger. Uh, it's good to be here with you. We need you to make it through the week. It's Wednesday. <laughs> yep, Hump Day. We Happy get Hump over Day, it. everybody. Also right. known as Scott Johnson Day. That's, That's right. I'm the right. hump in your way, man. You want to get past me, you got to get over me. Or <laughs> Ain't nobody humping around except Scott. Coming Patrick, we've the, missed you. Asia. Finland. Everybody keeps asking me, is Patrick Beja okay? Is he still around? Is he still on the show? And I have to say, Patrick Beja is just fine. He's about to have a second kid. Just everybody calm down. Also, it is overly sweet now because the last time I drank it regularly was in <laughs> well, no, 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 Roger. in college, and I and I I used to count, no I used to count the grams and I they say, think this it's has about, been your bit. I've known you for for twenty one years I'm, now. Like this I'm is telling you, when I was in college, a mug root beer was about thirty three grams of sugar. Now it's like forty three for a twelve ounce can. So Roger, tell me about uh, chefs who smoke and how salty that makes food. <laughs> <laughs> no, say when you smoke, your ability to taste things tends to be a little uh, adulterated, and so you tend to perhaps overly season your food. All right, your turn. You get to you get to yeah, pick what, on something that I always. Tom bring up. thing as he said before that you want to. <laughs> Some that Tom says that annoys me. Well, let me where do I start? Well, it doesn't have to annoy you. Just like the the the, the, the Roger, sugary like, soda thing. Book out. Knock off this pesky stand ring on my stupid Apple watch. It's like nothing is more frustrated than, than burning the amount of calories that you've set out and, and working out for the set amount of time that you've set out and then uh, uh, having it be like, oh, sorry, you haven't s stood in the proper uh, amount of hour. Yeah, your increment. arm hasn't swung for 60 seconds this hour, so. Mm. Yeah. All right, whatever. Like, what the, what are you, What? who are you? You're a watch, man. I'm a human. Like, get out of here. You're a judge. <laughs> yeah, you me. don't know me. You don't know you my don't life. Know watch. Get out of here, watch. You're fat. <laughs> You're not my mom. Yeah. You should adjust your goal to 750. <laughs> Say it in my face, watch. Get out of here. Who are you? Who are you? You know who I am? I bought you. Filling everyone on uh, my sacrificial rod in my water heater. Yeah. Spare the child. Save the rod or whatever. Sacrifice the rod. How's it go? There's well, I think we can recapture that moment. No, I, <laughs> but I was just wondering. <laughs> there has to be. I mean, if you could do that, why wouldn't you? Why would you just spoil the rod? Hmm. Sacrifice the child. Wait, what? <laughs> this is all wrong. Sacrifice the you, child. You spoil the rod. Said rod. Why could you? Because then you can Sacrifice a child named Rod. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and there's a rod in the water heater and sacrifice. Yeah. Rod. You sacrifice it and then you're yeah. cool for a couple <laughs> yeah. years. And then you've saved the cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> 